His touch sent sparks flying to her nerve endings, making it difficult to think clearly with him in her personal space. Her breathing quickened. Uh, I have to admit, it's very tempting. Why do I hear a silent but? He gave her hand a squeeze. The heat from his palm warmed her from the inside out. It's a lot to consider, she answered, taking her hand out of his. I still can't believe I convinced myself to bring the boys here for a couple of days. Shaking her head, she went on, They've just met you. I've just met you. Normally this kind of life change happens slowly and shouldn't be rushed. Grayson rubbed his chin. You have a point. If it was just me, her voice trailed away, the silence between them filled with the sounds of frogs and other nocturnal insects. Grayson spoke first. Carrie, what is it you really want? Before she could answer, he held up a hand. You are more than capable of holding your own in the world with or without a man, and I have to admit, I was a little surprised you accepted my proposal to spend the weekend. She spoke in a quiet tone. The idea of an adventure appealed to me, not to mention your suggestion has intrigued me. Sad to say your offer of moving in for the promise of lifelong friendship is the best offer a man has made to me in a long time. That is sad, he commented, because you deserve so much more. His compliment caused tears to well up in her eyes, and she blinked them back. She'd always been strong, had to be, not only for herself, but for her children. No one had ever seen her vulnerable side. Vulnerability wasn't something she could afford. The one and only time she'd dared to show it, the guy had run for the hills. Isaac, and it's not fair to paint all men with the same brush. The low rumble of Grayson's voice broke into her musings. What is one thing you've always wanted but never had? The corner of her mouth tugged up in a half-smile. I'm not sure you want to hear that. Tell me, he urged. I wouldn't ask if I didn't want to know. She stared at her feet, chipping blue nail polish off her big toe with her thumbnail. You'd think it was stupid. Stupid is never a word I'd associate with you. His sincere tone made her want to spill her guts. She looked up into his eyes and her heart leapt toward him. Trust him, her brain whispered. What did she really have to lose? If they decided not to go through with their partnership, they'd part ways never to see each other again. Staring at her toes again, she spoke. What I want has nothing to do with money or material possessions. Her tone softened to a near whisper. I know I can do it on my own. Circumstances have shown me I can handle anything. Go on, he prompted when she paused. Carrie stared across the expanse of the pool. The thing I've wanted over anything else is simply... For someone to hold me and tell me everything will be all right? To lend me their strength in those times I feel weak until I can hold my own again? To know at the end of the day there's someone to care how my day went? Grayson's large hand covered the back of hers. Unable to believe she'd spilled her deepest wish to a near stranger, she froze in place. Turning her head slowly to face him, she gazed into his eyes. He curled his fingers around her palm. Thank you for sharing that with me. An uncharacteristic wave of shyness engulfed her. Her cheeks heated, and she tucked a strand of hair back behind one ear. Uncomfortable with the intimate turn their talk had taken, she pushed to a stand, smoothing down the front of her dress. Mm, if you don't mind, I think I'll go change into my bathing suit and take advantage of your hot tub. Before he could utter a word, she dashed back into the house. Foolish. But even as she chastised herself for giving Grayson a glimpse of her private thoughts, something inside her whispered Grayson Nichols could be what she'd been waiting for, if only she'd open herself up to the idea.